Alaska's good guys are. So we are catching a last minute flight right now from Chicago. We're going to check out Anthony uh, from Restock Chicago, Jay Collector. We're going to do a collection video with him and check out our guys over at Restock Chicago. Stay tuned for it. What's good guys? So we just touched down in Chicago. We are at Chicago O'Hare Airport. We're going to visit our, our buddies over at Restock Chicago. Some of you guys know uh, Restock Chicago falls under the Kickstarter umbrella. We, uh, we teamed up, I think it's a little over a year ago now. Visit them real quick, check on the store. Um, I know Anthony J. Clicker's got a new tattoo. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And then also we're going to do a full blown collection video with him. So stay tuned for that. And I'll show you guys some cool B-roll and stuff of Chicago and what they have to offer. Weather's pretty good. All right guys, so we just arrived at Woodfield Mall here in Schaumburg in Chicago. The mall's not open yet. We're a little, a little early. Um, not too crazy though, only like 30 minutes. So the reason I was super quiet on getting onto the plane and everything is everyone was super upset. So I'm sitting there vlogging and the plane was delayed, I think an hour and 45 minutes. Everyone was super upset. They didn't tell anyone it was delayed or anything. I mean, typical me, I was cutting it super close as it was. I, uh, I think I had to be to the gate by 108. I walked up to the gate at 107. Uh, security, I got through security. Boarding started at 12, 12.43 a.m. I went through security at 1 a.m. Like, I was pushing it. Mickey went to drop me off leaving the store and uh, the parking garage was super backed up. I ended up getting out of his car, catching an Uber from Planet Hollywood. Um, yesterday was probably one of the busiest Fridays our strip location for Kickstart has seen. So I was there with them, helping the guys get the store cleaned up and everything after the store closed. And then I just thought, okay, cool, drive me across the street, drop me off, but wasn't the case. We got stuck in the parking garage, so I Ubered, got to the airport, got on time, barely. Got through security, barely. Got to the gate, barely. And then the flight was delayed. They said 2 a.m. We didn't get on the plane until like 2.30. Plane didn't take off till like 3. Supposed to take off at 1.23. So we were supposed to land at 7 a.m. End up landing at like 8.48 a.m. And then catching an Uber from the airport, Chicago Hare to Woodfield. But we are here now. Foot Locker behind me is all closed, everything. But everything should start opening up now. So like I was telling you guys, we got here a little early while waiting for the store to open up. We got a new food court upstairs, so came to check it out. I happen to have a donut shop open. Grab some quick breakfast while we wait for the store to open. Okay, so those of you guys who know, this is the location of the old Restock Chicago. I'm going to try and find a photo and pop it up on the screen for you so you guys can see that Restock used to have this little tiny space. All they were able to fit in there now is like a little tea place, whatever, but they made the best out of it. But now, if you just turn around, they took the space across. So much larger location for them, be able to hold a lot more product. As you see here, Supreme. Travis Scott, Travis Scott, Travis Scott. A lot of dope stuff in the case over there. I can already see bare bricks above. Clean look. The shoes on the pedestals, phone cases on the pillar. I know they're one of the biggest accounts of Rejuvenator. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that back wall is pretty dope with the giant off-white Chicago. But we are here before they are open. We just grabbed some donuts, waiting for Ant to get here. Stay tuned.
Alright, so we're inside Restock Chicago right now. You walk in, go to the left, they got the whole shoe wall. Go around. We've got all the Yeezys. Counter up there. Neon sign. <clears throat> We've got a cool display of the Travis's set up. Jordan 1, Cactus 4, one of each of. That's uh, Jay Collector's personal robe, so he doesn't want anyone touching it. Then right here we've got all the Yeezy colorways. All the V1s, Red October, all the V2s. And then it just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. accessories, skate decks, legal business, Marikami, other Marikamis, all the clothing's back here. And then what the store gets probably the most attention for is this right here, their off white Chicago painted on the back wall. The tag reads restock. They've got the slippers, the phone cases.
Alright guys, so today we're here with Jay Collector uh, on Instagram. It'll pop up at the bottom of the screen. His page will pop up. He's got 188k last time I checked. He's killing it. Takes a lot of dope photos and everything on Instagram. He's been doing it a long time. Uh, we had a conversation earlier today about how we should have started a YouTube channel years back and he'd be popping right now, but uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Got lazy. As you see behind me, this is only one of the rooms. He has multiple rooms. His dining room, his living room, his walkways, his cars. His life is just hype beast out. Um, so we're gonna go through and take you kind of through his collection. Um, to break it down, I think it's like 450 plus pairs. Uh, Supreme collection is a little over 100,000, totaling everything up, give or take half a million dollars. Craziest collection I've personally ever seen. I see people on Instagram post them, but this is his life, he lives it. So uh, come with us, check it all out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, give him a follow on Instagram. I think he may or may not be having a YouTube channel coming soon. Maybe, we'll see. He wants to do it, he just doesn't <laughs> want to edit some videos. You guys want to edit some videos, and I'm a, a boy. And he's a size 10, 10 and a half, so his whole collection is his size. If anything is not his size, he either hoards it, trades it for his size. I think we counted already through, there's like four shoes in just this room that are not his size, everything else is his size. He takes the whole term double up, triple up, rock one, stock one to a whole new level. He's got five or six of everything. Uh, so my boy Chase came down from Vegas, uh, probably do a little shopping today, um, got the new off-white running shoes, uh, I got the black pair today, um, for the green pair, uh, I'm missing the white, if anybody got a 12 women's, let me know. Um, got another pair of these. I mean, everybody knows what they are. When you say another, yeah, let's uh. One, two, three, four, four? This makes five? Yeah, so this is five, so. This goes out. Checks over stripes, I think. <laughs> and these come in. Uh, anything that comes into this room basically stays here. Uh, nothing's really for sale. Uh, we're up to five pairs. Of, the other one of this one is at the shop, so I have one for display there. So it it's on display in the window. You guys can check it out. They've got the Travis Sale, Travis White, Travis Four, and Travis One all in one case. The other case they have all three of the Jordan One off whites, and then the other case they have all of the Air Forces. Um, I didn't get the 33s. Uh, I think they were hideous. So pass on those. Um, Got the baby shoes. Uh, I mean, I don't have a baby, but still buy them. If you gotta buy one, you gotta buy them all. Um, Glows, Mantas, uh, the, I guess, Pirate Black, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, Clays. So, I, I mean, I, I buy all of them. Doesn't matter what they are, they just come and sit here. Um, Turtle Doves, I got Baby Spider Man's. Uh, shadows and then I got all the off-white that came out in, uh, in the baby sizes also um, these they've been skyrocketing uh, I was able to grab uh, three pairs so I got two in here I got another one in the other room that I haven't taken out um, pretty underrated uh, 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 true form yeah I mean I think it's one of the nicer cutaways that came out uh, I mean, they're not going for much, so that's a good thing. That's a true form. This is the um, hyperspace. Hyperspace. I think this shoe is so hot. I think it's probably the you know the best one out of all of them that came out so far. I definitely like those colorways better than the, than the ones that, the ones were, that are the, about yeah. to drop. Yeah, the ones that are kind of you know I, I feel like this is getting too close to the same color, so you know I'm glad they're doing something different. Um, I see some Asics up there. Asics, uh, the Ronnie Fix. Yeah, those ones are worth some money. Yeah, I beat the daylights out of these. This was like my go-to pair for a while. Um, same shit. I mean, I just I buy everything. I mean, so the black can, cleat. As the you can tell, I don't play the sports, but I still have to buy these. Uh, I got the black here. I got the green out in the in my uh, living room with the uh, with the gloves, the helmet, and I forgot what else I ended up getting. Um, I got all the original 750s, uh, all the kind of bosses, the. Easy 500s. Um, 
few of that converses. I know you don't like them, but um, this pair. I mean, I, I mean, there's no hype behind that. I just think it's a, one of my favorite shoes. Uh, yeah, when I like. We get to it over here. You got a lot of other Dornbeckers, the older ones, um, the ones that were hyped. Yeah. Um, I mean, I buy all of them. You know, it's what I told you before. If I'm gonna buy one, that's my problem. If I buy one, I gotta buy all of them. So, I mean, with this one, I just I bought this one. A um, couple of Spider Mans. These are great school sizes. Uh, the Ultra Boost. I mean, not too much hype around these. I think they're, they're pretty nice. Got when these the photos here. leaked of the green one with the gold accents, I think they're better. Yeah. So I got these two here, and the two. Uh, two other ones here. So you got both Ultra Boost, both NMDs, both cleats. So, so I personally think these are a lot better. Don't worry. Um, probably my biggest collection now is probably my Off Whites. Um, I had a huge Easy collection, but as of right now, I, I think I'm probably at about over 100 pairs of Off White. Uh, Hold on, let's take a second to admire what's on your feet right now. What are these? These are Dave White samples, uh, one of 23. This is a size 10, I believe. Um, the only other one for sale right now, I think, is on flight for like 8,000. Um, we went to Nike today, I looked at him like he was an alien. Yeah, everybody was like, what's, what's, what's on his feet? Um, probably my favorite pair of Sudden Chase. These these run very small. So I got the I got a used pair and then I got a desktop pair. I usually try to have two, one so I can wear and then the other one so I can just save it. Um, he says two, but as you see behind him, three <laughs> pings. There's only one of those, which is surprising. Yeah, I haven't been able, you know, I haven't been able to find another one of these for, you know, for a decent price. This is probably the pair that took me the longest to find. Um, so I am looking for another pair of these. Um, black ones. Uh, like you see, three three pairs of pinks. Uh, there's the ores. Um, I got the black ones here. Also need a ten and a half for eleven. Yeah, right? I need a ten and a half for eleven on the black ones if anybody has one. Um, Air Forces. This is the black and this is the um, bold colorway. I got lucky with this one. One of my guys who works for me sold sold it to me for like three hundred bucks. Um, he, every day he asks me for it back, but he's not getting them. Uh, Fear God boots. I got the orange, two blacks, and then the uh, original colorway. I forgot what they call it. It's almost the same color as the other one. Um, I got two, three pairs of the black unions. Uh, the other one is in the other room. Um, I mean, and everybody knows what you know. These pretty much. What do those go, go for nowadays? Uh, I mean, if you're able to find them brand new, probably two, three thousand. Uh, probably like two, twenty five hundred, more like. Uh, I haven't kept up with the prices on this, but it's probably like three to four thousand. They're becoming very, very hard. Yeah, to find. they're they're impossible to find. Um, the gray one. The Zen. Yeah, this is this is probably probably my favorite one out of all of them. Out of all the easies? Or out, out, out of the, the easy out of the easy ones. Um, it's so I mean, you could just kind of wear it with anything. So I like I like that one a lot. This one probably has the best glow on it. Like as soon as any type of light hits them, like they just literally like light up so so much. It's crazy. And it's the only one that actually light the the Nike check lights up on. So I got two pairs of these also. Um, yeah, can't forget those. I got two pairs of these. At a point, I had like five or six. Um, oof. If you guys ever want to know if you got a real pair of these, keep them inside of a box for you know a little bit. Open them and they smell like rotten eggs. You got yourself a real pair. Um, I don't know why, but the, this shoe smells so bad that it's crazy. Um, flats. Um, I had these these uh, Kanye graduation pair done a while ago. Uh, years ago actually so I, I have a few of them on some of my shoes and this is the solar uh, same thing brand new I got another, I got two pairs of every of all of those um, it's an expensive little corner down there I don't buy samples anymore because prices now are getting too ridiculous um, but I was trying to finish up the, the Oregon collection at a point but I think some of them now are just hideous like those 12s um, the fives so I mean at this point I'd rather do a lot more of the stuff with, with that type of money so these are the 29s um, I got the nines I mean these don't go for much 
Uh, I forgot what store I got these from, uh, Minneapolis. Uh, fives. The, the, the problem with these with these shoes is finding them in your size. Um, you know, every, most of the athletes are going to be size 12 and up. So to find anything from like a 10 to 11, it's, you know, it's, it's very hard on these. So these are, I probably will never get rid of. That's the five. Fours. The fours always get a lot of attention. Yeah. Uh, the only bad thing about the fours, man, is, is the you know the chips, right? the chips in the back. It's like nearly impossible to not get a pair Those like threes, that. Threes though. Uh, the threes. I got these pretty cheap. I, I, I probably had to say around twenty five hundred, which you know. Some change to you? No, I mean it, for what they used to go for. Yeah. Before they go now, I mean that's pretty cheap. But you know, I was buying this stuff when people, you know, weren't really buying too many shoes. When the Nike hype was down. Yeah. Everybody was into the Adidas hype. Um, I don't know if you could you see. Can't get to that corner over there, but you guys see all the white and baby blue. Um, those are. I think I got 11 or 12 pairs total of the UNCs. Um, up in the top, it's the white pair of uh, the Euro. The Euros. This is one pair yeah, that there's I wear. The pair he wears. And then there's and the DS pair up there. Um, I mean, everybody's favorite. I got two of these. You wear one of those too, right? Yeah. Probably, well, I, I, I've only worn it a few times. I'm kind of like scared to mess it up. So, um, three pairs of the original Prestos. Uh, I got five pairs of the black Prestos. Why'd you go so heavy on the black? Um, at a point that we're coming in, or people were trying to sell them too cheap. So, I, you know, something that I learned my lesson with anything the off white is always going to skyrocket sooner or later. Um, so I was buying these at a, you know at a good price at that moment. So I mean, if I I might as well just grab them. Um, the white one still goes for the best price, but it's white. It's dirty. Well, the black one is actually going for a lot more now. Yeah. So I personally think the white one looks better than the black. But like you said, you know, people don't want to buy the white one because they get so dirty. A lot of people doing customs on them, tie dyeing them, painting them look like Sean's. The only thing I hate about most of these shoes. The foam. It's the foam. They start turning yellow for no reason. Yeah, like, they come like a light blue. You know, so it, it sucks because I mean, so I had this display at the shop. And I guess from the lighting, look at the difference. There's the light blue I was telling you. So there. that you know, I took all of my off white. I had the the whole collection there, and I brought them back home because you know they were, they started to turn yellow. So you know, it's I, still a DS pair, but yeah, it's just an but now it sucks because I got one blue and one. You know, one yellow. So. Oh, that's left and right. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. You know, only I was displaying one one side only at the, at the store. Um, two pairs of the Serenas. Uh, this is a sample pair. I got, I think like two months before they release. Uh, and then I got a regular pair that came out. Uh, same thing with the uh, black and white ones. I know I got a uh, sample pair of these also uh, out of the three that I have here. Uh, same thing with the Hallow's Eve. Um, probably the best blazer. I like that one the best. I got it. Yeah. I'm looking for a Serena if anyone has 11 and a half, 12. Can't uh, seem to find those sizes for some reason. Two pairs of the uh, Converse. At the moment, I only have one, and I traded a Sean Witherspoon for one of these. Which Sean. Had, which still got three over here. Yeah, I still got three of them. Um, I got the original Vapor Max up there. The OG. Um, hyper dunk. The hyper dunk, which I told you today that now they're hard to find and for cheap. This is one of the shoes that is not my size either. It was a size six. I think I paid 550, 600 bucks. Check mark silver. It just doesn't show up in the light. There you go. So it's a MoMA exclusive. Uh, so that's a six. I also got uh, my size. Same thing, brand new. This pair actually comes with the socks. Not gonna rock that one? Nah, maybe, I mean, if I could find a used pair, yeah. But, I, I, not that I can't afford it, but I just I just can't see myself wearing a brand new shoe that's... Do those and the white ones fit the same as the black and the Volt? I, I feel like these run tighter because of the material itself. But they're like more padded, it seems. Yeah. Um, there's the complex on. Uh, looks normal, same thing, I had it at the, the, uh, the shop. You guys, uh, I'll post a photo, his, his right shoe is written on. So it's the one I'm thinking of. This one is signed by Virgil. I got this one for super cheap. I think it was like seven hundred dollars at the time, which 
I mean, at the time it was the market for what they were going for. But now, I think there's one on StockX for, I think, like four or five thousand. So, uh, beat up pair of the Air Forces. Then, I mean, look at the difference between these two shoes, man. It's like cream easies, they turn yellow. Yeah, yellow. so. I don't know, I'm like, I want to wear these, but it looks so beat that I'm like, I don't want to wear them. It looks like your dog beat up. Yeah. I mean, in this, you don't know how, how many times I try cleaning that shoe, bro. Yeah. And it's crazy. There's the other Zoom Fly. Other Zoom, zoom flies, flies, the black ones. Um, <coughs> like I said, if you're going to buy one, you just got to buy the whole collection. I mean, like I said, same shit, I don't play you sports. You don't but, play soccer? No. Really? So, but, you know, you still have to buy, you, you still have to buy it and have all of them. Uh, this is the black one. I got the original Converse, the Serena. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, no, this is the regular version. Um, Something about those light colors, the purple, the pink, and the highlighter just pop. Yeah, I love, I love, you know, I love loud, loud colors like this. Um, the black pair. I was able to double up on these, thank God, before the spot, the price is skyrocketing. This shoe here, man, I, I've seen people who theirs turn yellow, and they look disgusting. So I'm, I'm glad these haven't turned yellow yet. I'm kind of scared. Um, doubled up on both. The doubled up on the things. black and the white. Uh, tripled up on the Air Max 90s. Yeah. Um, I got lucky with this one. Same, another thing, size six. Six or six and a half. This came into the store, yeah. Um, same thing, I probably would just hold them there. Um, big open collection. Top three. Most of the current sneakerheads don't even know what bins are, don't know what Dornbeckers are. Well, crazy the quality thing. quality on these shoes is like unmatched. The, the quality on the shoes is amazing, but I'm not gonna lie, this shoe I wore it one time, and I was as I was walking down the street, it fell apart on me. And that one right there? Yeah. I Can mean, you pull the insert out and show them the wood? The shoes are super heavy. They come with wood, so they come Jordan. The, you know they come Shoe with trees and they come with the uh, dust bags the, the bags so i kind of need to buy another one of this he's got a bin two a bin five bin seven bin nine bin 13. this one would be probably my favorite the nine is his favorite and what most people wear the most seems to be the five it's just a plain color black so. and white yeah so this one i, I want to buy over because it fell apart on me and i took it to this place to get it glued and they did a horrible job, so I probably won't ever wear it again. Oh, well, there you go. But you know they really messed the shoe up on me big time. You can still see all the glue, you know. So I mean I wasn't gonna throw it out, but I, I, I left it here. Uh, Nigel's. I got a couple of the homages. You don't have a top three gold? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the left shoe that's white. There you go. So this is the top three, and this is the regular. Uh, gold. Getting into Jordan ones, it looks like. Yeah, it's a couple of Jordan ones. Uh, I'll be honest with you, man. I have a lot of them, and I'm not gonna lie, it's just because of the hype. But uh, I'm not a big fan of the Jordan ones. It, it, to me, it's more of an Air Force. Um, I don't know. If you, you know, you guys see the prices on this thing? These. I think they're six. Yeah, I think these are at, uh, like four thousand dollars now. So. I got it for 300 bucks. Then I got all the satins, the bread. Red satin, royal satin. satin. This one's the... Ali May. Ali May. That's the torch. You took something out of this bin. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing right now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Dave White's I was showing you guys. Two not for resales. One's a sample. One is a, a sample pair. The other one is uh, the regular version. Um, not much of a difference. I got three of these. I got the other one in the other room. Uh, when the time comes, I'm gonna be selling one of them. Uh, two core purples, two uh, pine greens, two pine greens, two clay green. It looks like. Three of the clay greens. Three clays, uh, a game royal game up there. Game royal. Blue moons. Um, this is a lot of people's grail. Uh, at a point, I had like five of these, bro. And you know, at that point, they weren't going for much, so I ended up trading them for other stuff that I. Actually, that I didn't. Yeah, that I didn't have. So I traded those. 
A uh, couple Royal of pairs of Royals. Uh, 1994, uh, Chicago. Looks a little small for you. Yeah, it's a size 6. You see the Nike insert in the inside. I used, I, used, I used to buy these at Ikea, but you know, they're taxing now. They used to be a dollar, now they want two dollars for them. So, cost of living? Yeah. Uh, just Dons. I got two pairs of those. Um, I, I think the shoe's so nice. The quality on it is beautiful. Not a fan of the tan one, though? No, I had the tan. I think I wore it once or twice, and then I got rid of it because it was kind of like everybody had them and they weren't going for much. It definitely seems like there's more of them out there than blue. Yeah. A lot more um, free throw line regular uh, black cement threes I, f I feel like if you're a sneaker fan sneakerhead you need to have one of these in your yeah. in your collection I people know I don't wear Jordans but I have those yeah I mean it's it, like a classic yeah you have to have that um, I got the whole Levi pack jackets Low. as well right yeah I got the jackets Blue, too. white black uh, black cause. black cause this is a shoe that Photos and videos do not do it justice. You have to see the quality in person, the detail. But the gray, the gray one, the yeah. Black. The gray one is probably the. That's why I don't like these boxes when they fall apart for. Stupid container store sponsor. Um, this is the gray one. There's a lot of fakes of these out there too. Yeah, yeah I, I, like just the insoles on this shoe are so nice. You know the leather inside is is just this is good quality stuff right here. Um, Travis Scotts, I got two. One of those about the other shop. I'm I'm glad that these are going up in prices because I bought my first pair of these last year for my birthday, and of course I you know it was way before the release, maybe like a month and a half. I paid twelve hundred dollars for these, which is twelve hundred, <laughs> which I still get clowned on because no, I mean nobody knew what, how many they were gonna make. Yeah. Um, I paid twelve hundred dollars for my first pair because, of course, I was like, "Well, it's my birthday, so I'm gonna buy myself something." It's one of the first times I've heard yeah. people paying for something. Yeah. Uh, now they're going back up. They're like eight hundred now. So smaller I mean, sizes I, are definitely hitting for yeah. the most. I got one for retail, so I just see it as I paid fourteen hundred for We're not two there pairs. Yeah, but I see a Jeter. A lot of people slept on that shoe. Man, let me tell you, if this shoe would have been high top. It would have been game over. Like, believe it or not, I have this. I have two of these, and I would love to do to for, some, for somebody to die. I'm just scared that it's not going to look. Plus, besides that, I don't want to die, and then people be like, oh, sh you got a fake pair of Jeters on. You know what I mean? But I would love to do that. Uh, quality in these are it's amazing. Um, those, those low top Jeters come with the leather laces, the normal laces, yeah. the cool box, everything, but they're um, not going for nothing. I got. All three Supremes. Supreme uh, Fives. Supreme Fives. Some of these are hitting for good money already. All DS or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, white, black, camel. Uh, the two OVO 8s, uh, white and black. Uh, these don't go for anything nowadays. I think I, I bought both of them for Rizzo. So. Um, Oregon State 9s. Uh, I think this is my first pair of sample that I ever bought, man. Um, it's Pantone 10. I had this, I sold it to somebody in New York, like two years later it showed up back at my shop. And I, and it's the box even had my name, I wrote my name on the box. So when the guy came and sold it to me, he's like, hey, are you interested in these? And I'm like, hey, I'm like, if it has an 11, that used to be my old pair. And I opened the box just to have my name inside, so I had to rebuy these. Um, buy it back cheaper? No. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got hammered on that one. Uh, but I just had to. It was my first pair of samples, so I was like, I, you know, I need to buy it back. Sentimental. Value. Yeah. Uh, regular OVO 10. Um, this is a sample pair. Um, funny story with this one. I got these. I bought them. The only thing different is that they don't say OVO on the bottom. Yeah, the other one will say OVO. Compare, you know, compared to the regular versions. You, you know, they say OVO on them. So, uh, I had a gentleman come to the store and saw these. I had them on display. He offered me, I think, like, Four thousand for these, and I was like, "No, you're crazy! I'm not selling them." Uh, he left me his number a week later. They announced that they were coming out, so I called him and I was like, "Hey, I'm, you know, I'm gonna sell you that sample." He said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pass on them because they're coming out." So I got screwed with this one. Now it's not worth nothing near that. Um, I don't really. I mean, I like 11s, but I don't really not a big fan of them. I kept this one out of the pack, Pantone 11. 
That's the only one in the pack that's good. Yeah, I think I, other ones, I, I think I literally sold them for 20 bucks. Uh, same thing, I don't know why I kept this. Cap and Gamma, it's a classic. Yeah, I mean, it looks it's a nice. newer classic. Yeah, I think. I think it looks better than a Gamma. It's probably going to go for sale pretty soon. Um, 96, 96, right? 96, uh, Bright 11, same thing, it's not my size, but uh, you can see the Nike Air inside. Um, I think something like this is good to just have in your collection, even though it's not my size. The Bright 11 is just like the Cement 3. Yeah, when when the new ones come out this year, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to grab Come Christmas pairs. time, they're going to be everywhere. Yeah, um, I got two pairs of the OVO 12s, just see the prices on the white ones. Skyrocketed as soon as uh, they won the champ the Raptors won the championship. Um, so that's that. Easy boots, same thing. I, like I said, I always buy. Once I buy something, I gotta start buying all of it. Uh, so I bought most of the boots. Uh, the two Supreme Air Forces. This, I think Nike. Like, really kind of play people. This is two different pairs. This is the white. This is the sail colorway. Um, not much of a difference besides that i think these were left outside and they got dirty and they were just said hey let's change the name on them it's literally yeah you can never doesn't pick it up but it's like it's literally the same shoe same this everything. one up here with the silver check is like two like eggshell like barely any difference but yeah it's crazy prices on these skyrocketing i think i've seen them at 800 dollars already Travis Scott's hot. Yeah, he, Travis is... Anything he touches, anything he puts his name on is gold right now. He's in now. Uh, I got a small size too. Those are money. Yeah, I think this is a six and a half. Uh, so any girl size five or size six, hit up your boy. He's got you ready. <laughs> uh, DB15. You know, it's crazy. I, I, think I, bought, I think I paid $100 for this shoe brand new. Guy bought it. He, he's like, I don't want it. I was like, uh, I'm not trying to pay retail for them. He's like, give me 100 bucks. So I gave him a hundred dollars and I think of. Is it your size? Yeah. Will you ever wear that? No. Just check. I have the whole DB Jordan mm -hmm. collection. I mean, it starts it's... all the way from there all the way to the top. I have every single one of them. The <coughs> only pair that is worn is the DB4. Probably Super wore it a couple of times. Then all the other ones are dead stock. So, um, so I, I see the one up there, then the two, the three. You got the four in your hand. DB5, that one Five. comes with the light, right? Yeah, this comes with the light. I don't know where my light is. Hopefully, it's still inside the box. This is the first pair of the DB6s. Uh, you can tell just because of the bottom, it's not as icy. But I kind of wish they would have not bought this back out. Will you give our newer sneakerheads kind of like a quick rundown of what a Dornbecker is? Uh, so, the Dornbecker is basically every year, uh, I think November, November they time. usually do, they usually get pick five, six kids from the uh, Dornbrocker Hospital uh, and they'll give them a shoe to design it. Uh, once they design it, they all the proceeds go to uh, go back to the hospital, in other words, for whatever that kid has. Um, I forgot what, you know, they, I mean... They Each do, one has its own yeah. story. Sometimes they just put it online, sometimes it's in the box. Um, you know, sevens right there, something to do with music. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's his uh, initials here. Um, the bottom has a guitar. Yeah, the bottom has, one has a guitar. And uh, I forgot what the other one has. The uh, there's one that I know has like a pizza or something like that. Um, the ones. This uh, is a drill to a lot of people too. So you know he did. I know a few people that I that know that I know know him personally. Um, this is like impossible to find brand new. Uh, plus the size that the material in these uh, once they once they crease they start to crack. So, you know, to find one brand new like this is nearly... I actually got the shirt too, man. Wait. Okay. So, got the hang tag. Um, and then this was the shirt that came with it. So this is the designer? Yeah. I'm fresh? Yeah. Which, you know, you're not going to find... Uh -uh. A desktop stock pair with the t-shirt left probably anywhere. I mean, you, you might, but it's, it's going to be really, really hard. Um, with people like you that they're not for sale. Yeah. Um, this is another DB. It's the Dornbecker up tempo. Yeah. Uh, from you said you have the whole Jordan set. What does it go up to right now? 12 or 13? Uh, they skipped the 11. 
They skipped an 11. But it goes from 1 through 12. There's two sets of 12s. I don't know if you noticed. There's black and pink. What's the other one? There's the black and pink, and then they did one for charity. They only made, I think, don't call me on it, I think 10 pairs. And they were on eBay. And, and they, you have one? No, I. They were like. What's on his feet? There's only 23 pairs. He has those. They went to 100. I, I think some of them went to like 20, 30 grand. So I, I wouldn't pay. Not that I wouldn't. I just. I can't afford it. So. Uh -huh. um, Supreme Up Tempos. I got two gold, one black. And I got one red here and then another red down there. Uh, wings, Michigan 12s. Uh, I mean, there's no hype behind it. That's the regular version, not the sample. I thought it was a decent shoe. Uh, the Air Max, uh, the animal print. Three pairs of the uh, Sean Witherspoons. Uh, I know people don't like LeBron, but you gotta respect greatness. I was gonna say he's better than Jordan, but I'm not even gonna go there. So, uh, there's a lot of kids that would agree. I mean, here's the thing, I, you know, I'm, I, I grew up more watching LeBron than Jordan. So, if I had to pick, yeah, you know, I'm gonna pick. Of course, I'm gonna pick LeBron because I saw him play more. You know what I mean? Uh, but I mean, you can't compare the. You, I just, I feel like you can't compare the two times. Uh, this is the championship pack. This is the low top and the high top. I changed the laces on these. Um, I know a couple of people who had the re the reverse pack of this. Actually, one of my guys uh, from Jersey had the reverse pair, and we got him. So I mean, he almost got in trouble because he posted pictures of them. Wasn't supposed to. Yeah, well, he wasn't supposed to. Uh, tennis ball. Jordan Becker has a, a shoe with tennis ball print on it. You don't have that one. No. I I, I try to stick with just with the Jordans. Is that Hirachi or an Air Max. Yeah, or I try to stick with the Jordans just because. Your collection, you know. If I start another one, then I'm gonna, you know, want to buy everything. Um, Miami Knights, I'll give you a quick look at Miami those. Miami Knights, South Beach. So, with these South Beaches, these things were sitting in stores forever in Jersey. Um, and every week I used to go to the store and, and I used to be like, Man, I'm gonna buy them. And then one day to another, they disappeared. Couldn't find it anymore. Um, I went to Fly Club and I bought, I think, four pairs. In one shot, they were a thousand, I think a thousand bucks each. Up there? Yeah, because I couldn't find them and I saw the price keep going up, so I was like, I just went there and I bought four pairs. There's a yep. couple terms. One's FOMO, fear of missing out. <laughs> Another one is something else. I, I can't remember it right now off the top of my head, but that's kind of how the whole sneaker business works. Yeah. And if it's in a store, it's sitting, it's retail, you don't really care too much. But as Once soon as you can't find it anymore? Yeah, as soon as you tell me it's limited. All of a sudden, you want it. Yeah, I want it. If, if you're telling me, and then I mean, I know I'm probably gonna get roasted, but you know, once you tell me it's limited, I want it. If you tell so me a thousand a pair, what are those going for now? Um, I don't know. I haven't checked those. There's not many out there left, like brand new. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they have to be somewhere around there. Um, I mean, got, I've got the elites. I, I thought they were cool, but they don't go for much. No, Five, the, yeah, those don't go, don't go for much. Uh, these are the two fear guys that came out last year. Yeah, you got. You don't have the. I don't have the original one. The OG one. No, those. I mean, I don't wear Vans. Those were at PacSun for a hundred bucks. People were reselling in front of the store, three hundred dollars. Now they're no one thousand. wanted to buy them, and now they're a thousand to fifteen hundred, depending yeah. on size. I mean, I don't wear Vans, so there's no way I'm paying that type of money for. Uh, for those. There's no way he's paying that type of money. I mean, this. Trust me, there's certain shoes that I'll pay money, and then the mm -hmm. shoes that I'm just like, that I I can't see myself paying that type of money. That sums up the Dornbeckers and the LeBrons now over here to the Yeezys. Um, everybody knows, well everybody was into Adidas. I mean, as much as bad you want to say about them, everybody was on Yeezys, uh, you know, on the Anyone Adidas. Anyone who wore shoot sneakers in, what, 2017, 2018, yeah. early yeah. 2018? You had to be wearing Adidas. Um, I got a couple of the original Yeezys. Uh, I got two pairs of turtle doves. I got the cleats. They're over here in the corner. They're kind of hard yeah, to get to, so I'll just show you guys. Um, Two doves, one turtle dove cleat. Four pairs of the pirate, pirate blacks. Three pairs of oxfords. And two pairs of moon rocks. One's there, the other one's here. The other one's not there. Um, I think I got one, two, three, four. I got about five pairs of the original belugas. Uh, about three to four pairs of wave runners one here one here another one there um i don't know chase just asked me a question why the fuck do i have so many butters i have no idea 
um, yeah, two pairs two of sesame. Um, another pair of blush up there. A couple of pairs of blue tints. Um, I had a few of these. I don't know why people like these so much. Uh, uh, personally, I like the blue tints more than the Bluga 2.0, but I feel like people are always asking me for these, so I got rid of them. A um, couple of the bears. Uh, when these were coming out, I, I talk so much shit. I was like, I don't care if they go up to $2,000, I'm buying them. Thank How God much are they at right now? 200 bucks. <laughs> so That's why JC used it as a chew toy? Yeah, thank God I, I, I ended up getting three of them. Uh, hopefully one day they'll be worth some money. Um, probably one of the nicer uh, V2s, nicer V2s that came out lately. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the neon green and especially the glow in the dark. Um, I ended up getting three of these in my size. I got a kids, I got a baby size up there. And I have a couple, and I think I got like one or two pairs and small sizes that I'm gonna get rid of later on. I see a lot of zebras. This was probably, at a point, was probably my biggest regret when these came out the first time. I bought three pairs at like 1500 each. Yes, 1500. <laughs> three. <laughs> um, when they first came out, if you guys weren't around and you didn't know, they were going for sixteen, nineteen hundred. It was the most limited Yeezy that had came out, and they said they weren't gonna come back out, and they restocked about but twice I'm, already. But times. I'm looking at your at your boxes, and all of that yellowish. It's all from the original. Means prints. that these are all the first or even the second release, but the third release is a bright white. Yeah, those I don't. I don't think I. None I don't of those think I got white. any of them. Yeah, I don't think I got any of the of the last release because I already had. I don't know. Same with your creams. You could Ten tell that these are an pairs. older release because they have a yellow tint to the bottom. I think they'll... Yeah, I mean, even these are... They almost still uh, have kind of a bit of the yellow. Yeah. The the other ones are white, white, white. Uh, even on the box. Yeah, I mean, you could tell the difference in these. This is... These are pretty cream. Uh, we got a couple of small sizes in these. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 zebras, 5 creams. I got another 2 3 pairs of zebras in the other room that I'm going to get rid of. I think there I might have a newer pair. So um, those so those peaked at like let's say 19, 16 to 1900 yeah. at one point. Yeah. Um, re-released I want to say three different occasions total. Three or two. Two or three. Yeah. Um, and That's why I'm scared to buy Yeezys now. Um because you never know when kind is going to re-release these. Um, there was a rumor that the black and red was supposed to come back out. Um, then I don't know why said that they weren't coming out. Same thing. I still I still don't trust it enough. Uh, once they said that these are coming out, I think the Easy Mafia posted them. Um, the prices went from like eight nine hundred to six hundred, uh, and it, you know everybody panicked. And now I'm hearing that they're not going to come back out. So um, that's one. But zebras went from 16 to 1900 down to 350, 400 350, bucks at a point. 400. And um, that's, believe it or not, that's when I started buying all of these. Because, I mean, personally, I mean, besides the newer ones, I always thought the zebra was probably one of the nicer. The black and white colorway is clean. Yeah. There's, there's a photos leaking of a V3 I think that zebra? was a fake pair that somebody posted. Yeah. I think Easy Mafia said that it, were, it was a one of those guys made the shoe or something like that so but yeah the, i don't i don't trust too much the room no disrespect the, to the easy mafia but they i guess when people are bored they just start posting stuff and you know so i don't i don't really pay too much attention to that the rumor of the breads in december possible yeah. says that it's fake but possible i've heard rumors that the um black friday pack might mm -hmm. come back out Somebody um, posted the other day that 2,000 Turtle Doves are re-releasing. Well, the Turtle Doves was supposedly a store that had pairs left over overseas that they never they sold. shut down a warehouse or something, right? Yeah, and they still has a couple of pairs. But, I mean, they're just not going to restock. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, these so are going got, for good you money. you got four coppers, I see. got four coppers, two breads, two Oreos. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of... Green stripe. Green stripe. I don't know why I bought so many of those. Um, black and red. Three red stripes. Here's the easy. Five hundred. The black ones. Five hundred and seven hundred. Seven hundred. Uh, I'm missing a couple of pairs. 
Uh, I'm missing the analog, analog and static. static. And the, what's the last one that came out? The Tefra, whatever it's Tefra? called? Yeah, so I'm missing those. Um, personally, I think retail is too high on these. Uh, it which, is, it's why they don't resell it yeah, as much. Yeah, here in Illinois, I mean, it's, you're looking at 330 at the tax. Your tax rate here is what? 10%. 10%. Which, you know, 300, you're looking at 330. Um, I, I usually don't jump on these. And I ended up, and I end up buying them off people who buy them thinking they're going to resell them and then they can't. Uh, perfect example. I bought these for 190. 190. 200 tops. That's Which one is this? The Geode. Geode. I, I, believe it or not, man, I, I, I feel like this shoe's hot, bro. People don't like it. I, I think. I think. I think between this one and the. Uh, well, you've got the Vanta right there. The Vanta. Hand. I, th I think these this two shoes the are hot. This is the Geode, and then you've got a mixture of the two that is about to release next week called the Utility Black. Y and yeah. it's a black with a gum bottom. So the only thing that's different, it has the gum bottom on this one. So which, the, those two mix together. But which kind of, you know, same thing. It's kind of like you're, you're doing too much. You know what I mean? You can't keep switching little things on it and dropping a shoe that's $300, you know, 330 in retail. And There's another shoe we talked about earlier today at lunch that you're excited to come out that you think is going to be a big thing fashion-wise. The Yeezy 451? Yeah. I like it. Uh, I show pictures to a few people. They think it's ugly. Um, I think it's different. So I, I, Any word on retail on that one? No. Hopefully it's less than uh, Hopefully it's less than that, so. but knowing Kanye, we'll see where that ends up. Um, I got the soul. Inertia. I, th I thought this shoe was going to go for like... I thought this shoe was gonna go for more than the static. I I slept on the static. I could have bought as many pairs as I want. I bought four. I wish I would have bought more. I me too. I, I thought the prices were gonna go down. This one right here. This one I got a couple months early at Florida Sneaker Con. I did a video. That is my highest viewed video and the most comment video here on this channel. It's just a nice color, man. It's good you for know, summer. Some, and yeah, stuff. something different. Uh, Can't forget about this expensive little stack down here, huh? Moaf. Moaf. Same thing. Back looking close to the geo, except for like Coming the green here. The highlighter. Uh, you doubled up on that. Yeah, I got one for like 200 bucks on the retail. So I mean, why not? Uh, four pairs of the semi. Remember the semi frozen at a point was the most semi limited too. Was the most limited. So I ended up, you know, doing the same thing with that. Um, let's see. Um, human races. Um, that is the, the grail of human races. Right only there. one that has kept the prices up on this one, oh, oh, on all of these, was this one. Um, I I ended up getting two. It's uh, that's the dust tag. I got a used pair that I wear here and there. Uh, same thing with the green. Same thing with the orange. One worn, one is brand new. Uh, the red, and I got one blue and one black. Um, haven't been able to find used ones. I mean, I have. But I just don't want to pay five hundred dollars for a used pair. Um, maybe one day. What do you think about comfort on this? Comfort wise, um, I think it's kind of flat. Yeah, I mean, at a point, like you know, you feel the boost material as a, as being comfortable. But then after a while, it's kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? Like it, it kind of just bothers. And that's a bamboo curtain. Yes, a supreme bamboo curtain. It's worth about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. I had it hanging up, and if and I leaned on it, and it fell and I'm just too lazy to pick it back up. Uh, Sesame Street, Easy Boots. This is just one room. So I've got B-roll of a lot of the other rooms. You've got the Cause Snoopies. You've got two step ladders, two toolboxes, Maricami doll, some used statics that aren't your size. No, those are my uh, little chair, I beach ball. Of these chairs. I got a couple of box logos on there. Yeah, just just chilling. Um, I got a bunch more in my other store. Um, yeah, if you guys ever want to check out more of his collection, he's he keeps a lot of it at the store on display. I know he has one of each easy there. That's for a reason for only being one here and one here and one here. He has a full selection of Yeezys there for everyone to see, take photos of. The Travis is there, also his. Uh, but this room is probably his favorite. 
from what I saw, I think the living room is my favorite. Let's go check that out. Excuse the mess, but I'm always at work, so I barely get to clean up. Uh, you work how many hours a week? Anywhere from 80, 85 hours a week. Uh, I mean, I do open and close literally seven days a week. So this is how kids listening, watching, you want to afford all this nice, expensive stuff, you got to work hard. It doesn't just come. Yeah, no, definitely not. So um, give them a quick little tour, MTV Cribs. <laughs> uh, dining room table. These are the water from the MCA, the Verger ones that came out. Um, the Moet off-white one, so they do not drop on them. Um, I'm missing, I'm looking for three of these sets, uh, culinary sets. I basically have one on each one. Uh, the one blue, green, and pink uh, with the cups. I'm missing, if anybody got one of these also, I'm looking for an extra one of these, just the green. I need it for that chair. Um, got a couple of, uh, a couple of bear breaks here, the 400%, the 100%. And then the 200 percent that's uh, uh the metal one uh, big dice the big dice baby mila lebron james his favorite player better than michael jordan <laughs> uh the Tissue? tissues the coke uh pepsi cans from japan uh, i wish these were full but i don't know why they were impossible to ship over from japan with the liquid in them so a lot of people had to like drain them a lot of them, the ones that you find people would just put a puck of hole of a put a little hole on them so they could drain it so they wouldn't have to open it. These I you know got but they're they were open already so somebody drank them. Uh, just a bandana, uh, a couple of the newspapers, uh, wooden bear break. I, I have not too much info on this and I, I know it's called a chess set. Uh, I've seen one on eBay. I think it's like eight thousand dollars so far. Eight thousand? Yeah. Um, I have no idea what it goes for, so let's just sit there. Uh, so I ordered two of these from France. This is the Hennessy and Cause bottle. They made it all the way to uh, UPS, to the distribution center. And once they were loading them up on the truck to go out for delivery, they dropped the bottles. They dropped the box and the other one broke. And I actually got in trouble for this because you're not supposed to ship liquor. Uh, so then UPS opened this one, you know, threw it out, uh, spilled the, spilled it out, threw the, threw the bottle out, and then called me and say, hey, you know, we found the package, it was liquor, we had to throw it out. So I was able to talk to the manager, he was able to go through the garbage and find me the bottle by itself. Um, so I would like to have an, a full one, but I don't want to pay $500 for a bottle, I don't even drink. That's what they're going for? Yeah, about 500 bucks. Um, my mom's in town, she's very religious, so. You know, don't mind the little stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, a couple of the cause doors. I got the black BFF back here. I would like the blue and the pink, but uh, same thing. I just can't see myself paying that type of money. Uh, big horror fan. I collect a lot of. I mean, I, I try not to buy this stuff anymore because it literally just sits here. But I, I try to do most of the uh, most of the horror ones. Same thing. If I buy one, I gotta buy all of them. So that's why I didn't get into any of the other ones. Uh, got the Back to the Future stuff there. Uh, at a point I have five pairs of Air Max. I got rid of most of them. I have There's one left. Um, I got rid of them because if the light goes bad or the battery goes bad, you could go from anywhere from eight to 10,000 to four or 5,000 because you can't really fix them. So I, I got rid of all of them. I always said about that I got those shoes, I was going to stop buying shoes. It didn't work out. Didn't say that yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, this is the babe stuff that I told you about. The uh, gold cleats. I think those cleats are dope. If I played yeah. football or anything, I'd rock those. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely better than the easy ones. <coughs> I think the easy ones are too plain. I like the, I like the, the gold accents at the bottom, plus the lace locks. Um, the gloves. Both of them here. Um, Plus I have the helmet. Helmets are very limited. I think they were, according, there was only one or two per store, and only a couple of stores had them here. 
Uh, so I was, uh, one of my guys was able to grab it for me, so you know I was able to grab. You see the numbers on those on StockX? The helmets? Yeah. No, I haven't seen them. They're like retail. Yeah. Under retail. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was like six hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, Supreme stuff. Uh, Where do you begin? Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Uh, this is the uh, Hot Wheels, the face mask. I have nine of these. Um, the Moet. You got nine there. You got one on the yeah, table. Yeah, so I got ten of them. So I want I want to get ten total of the water, but uh, sooner than I'll get them. Uh, and then I just got so much accessories, band aids, the uh, Santa, the wiffle bowl. Wiffle um, bowl, that, that's a dope display. Yeah, the wiffle. Anyone do that? And the uh, the bowls there. Um, then I got some, you know, the boxes, the thermos, the phone case. I'm, I'm a little upset they've never they haven't done the one for the X. Yeah. Only made for an eight. Uh, the locks, knives. So you have the phone case, but you don't even have that phone. No. Uh, these things skyrocketing. I don't know. Uh, uh, Roughneck money bag. Yeah. The garden, the garden hose, or whatever yeah, you call it. I see a toolbox from 2015. Toolbox. Box. Yeah, a couple of chargers, the measuring tape, uh, the gun, cash cannon, little box. You got Kermit. You gotta keep these full here, man. You got money just showing in the money bag? No, these are just two dollar bills. Like literally. These are all I just keep them in here so the day I'm broke. I always got lunch money. There you go. Um The bigger bags. Stupidest thing I've ever bought. The the, huh? No the brick. Oh the brick? <laughs> uh, the brick, a couple of keychains. What'd you pay for the brick? Uh, I think ninety bucks. Yeah, I spent 115, 121. Yeah. Um, Ramen bowl, the knives, the chopsticks, chopsticks, little knife, the bowl. I don't know why I got three of these. Uh, the what pipe. does this pump go for? About 300 bucks, I think. 300 bucks for the pump. I got two bolt cutters. Bolt cutters. You got to break into anything. Uh, flood lamp, the lamp that just came out. Uh, these you don't really see too many too often anymore. Is that a light? Yeah. yeah. So Let's see, so coming from this side over, you've got all the the brawn pops, more of your horror stuff, Michael Jordan pop, the black light, another uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah, is that your favorite movie? No, it's uh, I'm 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 really into the the whole horror movie things. Uh, the baseball oh, with the, the bat. bat. Another Michael Jordan up there. Very symmetrical, I see. This under those, there's a whole row of bouncy balls in cases. Those cases you could get a uh, Hobby Lobby, if anybody's interested in them. Uh, then they're like a couple of bucks. Um, I was buying Supreme stuff like a couple of years back before it blew up. I think I got this for like three, four hundred bucks. Now it's like nine, a nine to a thousand that I that I've seen people selling for. Um, but hard to come by. Um, the cough drops, cough drops dices, a um, couple of more bouncy balls back there, the wa water bottle. So wait, this is the sake. These come with the sake. What's this one? This, believe it or not, man, if I'm not mistaken, these came as a set of four a couple of years ago. So like mini stacking cups, but... Yeah, and I bought one like an idiot for like... 40 bucks but the four of them were sitting on still sitting on the supreme site for like 30 dollars really <laughs> so i mean you live and you learn um dress was, uh alarm clock another cash gun uh, a couple of flasks the air horn this one's still full i try not to play with it too much uh i thought this was uh, was pretty nice I mean, flats? yeah i mean it's kind of small but uh hair bottles Uh, speakers. I try not to buy speakers anymore. They're they're so expensive, and I'm never gonna use them. I so see there's no point. Above those tennis balls, something pretty expensive. Uh, I got this off my guy Rob. It's from Phoenix. Uh, I got a couple of things off him. So this is the jump rope. Um, Everlast, right? Yeah, this is the Everlast one. Um, plus I got the hand grips. I've got those. Uh, do not have the jump rope. A couple of tennis balls. 
um, craziest thing, man. These things are like selling for like 40, 50 bucks. Toothbrush. And these were free. A couple of uh, free gift like, last year. Like two years ago, maybe. Yeah. No, a couple of seasons ago. Yeah, three seasons ago now. Yeah, it was bouncy ball ago. and then shower cap. Uh, Supreme, the Zippo. Uh, I got the uh, Clippers. A couple of thermos. This Clippers a, shot up too. Yeah, this is an older one. Not too many people had these. I forgot what season it's from, but uh, there was this one, and I think there was a green one, if I'm not mistaken. So I got both of those. Uh, Jars. Another water bottle. Bike lock. Bike lock. Shovel. Shovel. Uh, so that's pretty much all, you know. So I, I stopped trying to buy all the accessories, man. They're getting a little too ridiculous with the prices now. Um, got the crown here. This is a table that I just got, has a glass over it, and I decided to put a bunch of stickers in them. Hold on, you're, you're forgetting a small thing behind you. Oh, this is... For any of you guys uh, <laughs> that don't have a Supreme tent in your living room, yeah, I don't this know is what you, you're missing out on? Yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing in life. Yeah, but what kind of hype beast are you? Yeah, my, my bad for my sandals being up here. Oh, here we go. You ever get in there? No. You'd fit though if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, 100%. I mean, definitely. Oh, can't forget the, the Supreme Yankee towel hanging over it. Huh? I got two of these. I don't know where the blue one is. Um, yeah, we, you can definitely fit like three people in here, bro. It's a good size tent. Yeah, 100%. I mean, if I ever lose my house, I'm just about to go and live in there. A uh, couple of stickers. I'm looking, I want to get a couple of different box logo stickers. It's a little more rare. Um, a little more rare? Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, you can still find a lot of the stuff. But, I, you know, I want to get more rare ones, but. I'm stupid when it comes to buying stuff, but I don't want to spend that type of money and you know on stickers. Um, so here we got it's a little some big plush that came out of years ago. Um, so these are the Supreme Permit decks. I'm missing the yellow one. I was telling Chase before I want to find. I mean, I found the yellow one. It's like two thousand dollars. I'd rather sell these before I pay two thousand dollars for a skateboard. I've never gotten on a skateboard in my life, so no way that I'm paying two thousand dollars. I think these I got, for, I got these pretty cheap. I think I ended up paying like five or six hundred for this one, and I think like seven hundred for that. Um, so if I find a yellow for that cheap, I mean I would buy it, but I can't spend two thousand dollars on a skateboard. I just can't. You know. uh, I'm missing the green one of these. I kind of want to find it. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's probably like a hundred bucks. I'm probably gonna end up buying it. Uh, another chair. I don't know why I bought two of these. At, was it four hundred bucks? Uh, two ninety eight, I think. It was either two ninety eight or three ninety eight. Yeah, some messed up number, and they were selling for under retail for a long time. I noticed they've slowly start creeping up. I don't, I don't know exactly what they're at at the moment, but here's. The, I mean, the price is one thing, <clears throat> but if I'm paying that type of price for this, for this. And they don't give you a pump. Yeah. It literally took us maybe. But you have a pump over here. Yeah, that's what we used it with. But you can't use that. You know, bro, like we used that for this, and I and that thing heated up so bad that it was like, it probably took us about three four hours to fill this chair up. Yeah. So, you know, it's. I I think it was kind of messed up for the type of price they couldn't give you like. Something a little to small up. electric yeah, pump. Yeah, something. Um, these I got back. Uh, I don't know when, probably about two years ago. So these are uh, Matt Gondick. They're one of 18. Got set number one. Um, this stuff is really blown up now. It's uh, He was at Complex on. He did a Mickey Mouse once. Uh, so he did a Tiffany, uh, Paris, and the Pigeon SVs. Um, I think the hot. Uh, got a slide here. It actually works because we're in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Um, I bought this because... Not too long ago, actually. Yeah, I bought this not too long ago because I actually had this hanging. You know, I had this hanging here, but it keeps falling, so I got to figure out how I'm going to make it. Oh, uh, that's what that tape was? Yeah, that's what the tape I, I got. This, like, I, I had a little bit of that unreleased Supreme shit, uh, tape. Yeah. So I got to figure out how to mount this back up there because it keeps falling. Um, stupidest thing I've ever bought. <laughs> you have be, two of them, all right? I got two of these, like an idiot. I bought two of them at retail. They were five, eighteen, I think, for each one. Um, I mean, it, it looks 
cool display piece, but it's a dope display. I've never seen anyone to... display it above their couch or in their house, but I don't know how to swim, so well, yeah, if, you know, that life vest a size XL by chance? Yeah, I think I paid 300 bucks for the life vest, which is not bad. No, for they're going for more now, yeah, so I'm not, you know, I'm not too mad over that. Um, but yeah, when 2012 happens. Uh, you know, I got it right here. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. Um, I got another room with a bunch of shoes and stuff, but my mom is in there right now, so I don't want to go bother her. Um, so uh, one shoe that I know that you have that is not here, or two shoes, you've got an Air Mag. I got an Air Mag, and I got a pair of the uh, Brooklyn Zoo. Uh, the Brooklyn Zoo is one out of 10, uh, and one out of three with boxes. Uh, from my understanding, one was raffled off, the other one went to Jay-Z. And I have the third one with the box. Um, currently for sale. If you guys are interested, in, you know, message me. Could work something out. Size um, ten. Size ten. Size uh, considering that it's a shoe that was remade, it's a little snug, so you know, kind of fits more like a nine and a half. But you know, if you guys are interested, let me know. So we're gonna go through, show you guys all the B-roll. Again, his name is Anthony J Collector. Uh, twenty three. Twenty three on Instagram. On Instagram. His Instagram will pop up. Um, this isn't necessarily everything, and it changes for him pretty frequently. He buys a lot. He's in the store seven days a week, like he said. So if you guys want to get in contact with him, check him out at Restock Chicago, at jcollector23. And if you're ever in Chicago, Woodfield, or Chicago Sneak Club, Come say what's up. Uh, I'm in the store all day, so yeah, pass by say what's up. Uh, the main issue or main problem why I don't sell any of my shoes is because, as you see, I keep all of my shoes in the clear boxes and I have literally every single one of my closets is full like this. So, um, every time I gotta look for a shoe, I don't wanna go through this mess of looking for boxes. This is here and then it just goes, you know, keeps going back. So, I, I think that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't sell any of my shoes. I have a bunch of stuff here. Um, plus, All of this, I mean, as you can see, those are boxes inside the boxes in there. Um, so, you know, it's, it, 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 it's a pain in the ass <laughs> to be, that's all. This is mostly all the off-white stuff that I have. Um, plus, like I said, I, you know, I got my bedroom, which is another two glasses in there. Four I got a, shoe boxes. I got a spare bathroom that, it's not a bathroom anymore, it's more of a storage room, four boxes. Um, like you know, like Chase said, I, I got about a 450, close to 500 pairs of shoes. So as you can see, I gotta buy, I gotta keep them here. Plus, I mean, I gotta put this. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff now. Yeah, there's a couple empty shoe boxes, but it's not for lack of shoes. It's just lack of. Yeah, because I, I mean, I got another. 110 pairs in the other room that I have that are still in the boxes. So it's, it's not that I'm missing shoes, I'm just too lazy to <laughs> do all of that. Um, started putting some of these away already, so. All right guys, so that was Anthony J Collector's uh, collection video. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I said it in the beginning, some, somewhere close to half a million dollars, if not a little bit more. You know this stuff, it goes up in value, some goes down. He's got some stuff that's never gonna come out again, some sample stuff, some one of 10, one of three, one of 23 on his feet right now. Um, but definitely go give him a follow on Instagram. Check Restock Chicago on Instagram. They're part of the Kickstart family. And yeah, if you need, got anything size 10, 10 and a half that you want to get rid of, give away some steals, stuff like that, he's clearly always buying. I don't know where all his money comes from, but- Always. <laughs> he buys a lot, he's a shopaholic. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check him out on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, you know, every time we meet up, we're gonna try to do something together. Yeah, we've got some sneaker con stuff coming up for sure. He's not going to Dallas, but he'll probably go to some future ones. Definitely, Chicago sneaker con. We'll do something. Uh, we'll probably try and do some event at the store, if not at the booth at sneaker con. But uh, appreciate you guys.